Hello and welcome to my insignificant channel. Today I'm painting a shelf, which I'm excited for because I'm going to be hanging this in my bedroom. Its triangular shape fits right in with my room theme. My roommate actually bought this for me at Goodwill, thanks G. It seems to be originally from Big Lots for ten fifty. Hmm. Well, let's get right into priming this big hunk of wood, but first, we get to peel. Mmm, <laughs> peel. <clears throat> anyway, let's start slapping on a priming coat of white while I reflect on my love of all things triangle. The obsession for triangles definitely started young. I'd say 12 or 13. Anyone who looks close enough could easily see exactly where it comes from, but I'm gonna keep being mysterious and vague about it. It's not just triangles though. I'd say even I'd say an even greater obsession is eyes. All things eye shapes and the like get absolutely adorned by me. Now combine a triangle and some eyes, and I'm in love. A mystery behind every avoided glance. Always watching, seeing it all, almost comforting. You're never alone. You're never alone. I wanted to use black spray paint for the base coat, but that would require going outside, so classic painting it is. Black, purple, gold, white, and gray are the colors of my room. Black being the primary color, gold and purple the accents, and white and gray as fillers. This apartment I recently moved into is the first This apartment I recently moved in. This apartment I recently <laughs> <laughs> recently, <laughs> this apartment I recently moved into was the first place where I actually put thought into decorating my room, and it's been so much fun. I made two whole paintings just for this room, and with the help of Conray's books, I've truly made this space so relaxing and joyful. A nice shelter of paradise compared to the rest of the chaotic apartment. Always there. It's up to you to make them your best friend or your worst enemy. Judgmental and cold, but the real sting comes from knowing you are the only one criticizing yourself. There's comfort in the void. It's blind darkness, a relief from the constant torment of the real world. Here, you escape. No one can bother you. Why would you ever want to leave? I made the front border gold, but only the outer triangle. I didn't want to highlight the top shelf, I just wanted the main triangle to stand out.
Now for the interesting part, the actual design of this. I'm going for a geometric triangle design. Keeping it simple but also interesting. My little brain was really steaming trying to make all these lines form into triangles. I didn't have a clue what I was going to make this into at first. If, if I wasn't making a video, I would have just kept it as completely black, but I'm glad I put more effort into this and made it a unique piece for my room with an aesthetic I love. Then my camera decided to be a piece of shit. Thanks, Canon. Okay, I just lost all the footage of me actually painting this. But I can show you what I've done. As you can see, I went along and kept that same pattern throughout the whole triangle sides. I decided to use a gray for these lines because mostly because the white was dying. And then as you can see, I added a few gold accent lines to a few of them throughout. One big jump cut later and it's done. It fits so wonderfully with the rest of the room, and I just genuinely love it so much. Hard to go wrong with triangles and gold. Now to add its residence. First, a dried alligator head with some beautiful marble eyes. Then, my most dearest and prized possession, my jar of dear teeth. Finally, they have a home where they can live comfortable and be rightfully admired. The top shelf I'm saving for some kind of eye decoration because I prefer my triangles with eyes. <laughs> 